Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oiz, and welcome back to Evoland 2. In the last episode, we came to Professor Yiro's Jiro, however you want to say it, um, the Professor's Lab, and we get were able to get in here after defeating uh, the demon kid who turned out to be Menace's son, uh, and we've been exploring around here, and all signs point to Kuro being Professor Jiro. Um, so, uh, we've explored this and I literally just walked up from the save point and got this. So, what's going on? How we manage in the dark. Okay, so, uh, can't, okay, hey, the light's back on. I sure hope that doesn't keep up much longer. Alright, I was confused because I can't, like, it can be a bit inconvenient. Let's find the generator and try to fix it. Alright, I couldn't move, so I was wondering what was going on, but, um, yeah, we've been getting these. It looks like Kuro. Um, Subject X has appeared. Uh, so, extraction process, which should weaken her. Ending recording. Alright, so, trying to do something to somebody. Not sure what is going on, and that is a xenomorph. Now, what the heck is that? It's a xenomorph. It's dead. A weird, weird kind of pain in my stomach. Yes, because that's exactly how they... Uh, uh, if you're not familiar with Alien, that's an alien. Uh, the whole thing with them is the face huggers, which uh, put the embryos... Oh, hey, automatic defenses. Uh, which put embryos into your stomach, and then they burst through your stomach. Yeah, it's not very fun. Booster. Let's go ahead and boost the row. Uh, and we'll see. Oof. That one's taking a beating. Um. Attack him. Magic. Heal. Velvet. And combo. That worked out nicely. So we have this, like, uh, turn-based battle system now. Uh, I want to try to combo with uh, Fina. Uh, missed. We'll just charge Velvet. And it misses when it's dark. I wonder if that is a thing or just coincidence. Alright, so that's taken care of. Flash one. Well, that worked. Ice one. Frozen, and there we go. Cool. We win. So we get some money. I had more battles. All right. So, uh, I think the the key is gonna be to charge the two girls, Velvet and Tina, and Kuro. Just kind of do your thing. Uh, attack everything as needed, and the idea is going to be uh, try to use their special attacks the best we can. Don't attack during the, the dark. So slash one of these guys, and that will take out two of them. Ice these guys. All right, so it's working all right, I guess. Keep attacking. And charge. What kind of magic? Armor of Frost. Cool. They're all protected. So we just gotta do what we've been doing. Um, attack everything we can. And slash so that we do as much damage, damage as possible. And boosting Kuro might not be a bad idea. There's that guy. And we got two more. So, um, I think real quick, let's uh, heal Kuro. And we'll charge Velvet, just in case. Uh, heal yourself. Just in case there's any more. And then ice. Aw. Uh, 
I was hoping it hit both, but it didn't. So just wait for the lights to come back on, and there we go. Is that it? We got a bunch of XP. Cool. So... Oh, great. More traps. Really need to d disable these defenses. Alright, you charge. You heal. And honestly, Kuro just needs to attack. Um, so... We gotta get through this. Um, gotta fix the generator so the lights stay on, so the things are a little bit more consistent. And you wait, you wait, and I wonder, ah, uh, we can't com- can we combo with all three? Alright, well that worked. And that was good enough. Okay. So, Kuro attacked the frozen one. It's gone. Uh, Fina charge. Uh, Velvet charge. And Kuro would just continue attacking. Uh, one more attack after this should be enough. And I want to charge more on both of them. If we can. I don't know that Velvet can charge. Nope. You just wait, Velvet. Um, because I'm expecting more fights. So, wait, wait, and attack. Oh, it's dark. Okay, go ahead and attack. So, bunch of experience, some gold. Oh, nope, okay. That's it. So, I just want to get to some of this stuff so we can get some health, and this machine was used more often than the other ones. Maybe we can get something useful out of it. Um, just a bit more. Got it. This machine was apparently used for WoW. <laughs> funny. Uh, that's funny. Alright, so there's probably more. Yep. Saw that one coming. Alright, so let's charge Fina, and let's booster her as well. Uh, that way we can do a super slash, and hopefully that'll be a little bit better. Alright, so... Charge again, and she'll be attacking relatively soon, so... Um, might as well boost your Kuro as well. Speed everybody else, and super slash. That worked out pretty nice. Let's just take them all out. Literally just one attack each. Probably... Eh, maybe not. Alright, we'll charge some more. Uh, Kuro can combo attack. That does a lot of damage. Uh, but it takes two people's, like, attack, so... I don't know that it's worth it. There we go. Everything's defeated. We level up. More life, a lot more life. And this is a lever thing. One out of five controllers activated. Oh. Really? Just one guy? <laughs> nope. Um. So this looks like Mewtwo. Uh, is this another reference? Now activate the bottom left console. Perfect. Now activate the top right. Okay. Excellent. Now deactivate the bottom left. Now activate the bottom right. I want to see what it says. Hello, Professor Jiro. How are you today? Oh. Nice. Now deactivate top right. Top left. Is this actually going to do anything, or is am I just resetting it? Bottom left. Now activate bottom right. I swear, if it tells me to deactivate the bottom right. What is it? Do I keep doing it? If it's... 
top left. Okay, it's changing every time. Um, I guess we'll keep doing this and see what happens. Deactivate the bottom right. Uh, I'm not going to give this that much longer. I think it's the bottom left. Activate top left. Yeah, it almost feels like it's... Let's try a wrong one. And let's just activate them all. Why does no one ever listen? Hey, that worked! <laughs> um, so that was a puzzle, I think. Um, let's see. Oh great, more of these guys. Alright, Kuro attack. Velvet Booster Kuro. And Fina charge once. And then she needs to heal. Uh, so we'll get this taken care of. Um, Armor Frost, why not? Slash those two. And kind of continue attacking them. Um, definitely need to heal. And Velvet, she can attack that one. Oh, I didn't mean to combo. Oh no. Oh well. Ah, there's only one left, so. Kill it. Once lights come back on, there we go. Cool. Uh, so there's a sign down here that I wanted to read. That's why I went this way. Hazardous area, do not go past the grating. Um, yeah. Looks like we got some more monsters to kill. Um, heal yourself. Velvet, let's get some armor. And then we'll booster everybody. Uh, and that should make things a little bit easier. Actually, I think Velvet needs to uh, do the ice attack. Uh, I think that would be devastating here, so... Uh, heal Velvet. And charge. Continue attacking those guys. I have a feeling there's going to be more enemies. Just a, just a hunch. Um... Fina can charge as well. There we go. Ace attacks. Does a decent amount of damage and it freezes them all. Um, so they go slower, I think. Go ahead and charge more. And is that enough? Not quite, but uh, Kuro should go next. And that should be pretty much it. Yeah. So... If we touch it again, yeah, another fight. Oh well, um... I wish we could flee, but we can't. So, charge. And charge. Uh, and we'll hopefully get this taken care of pretty quickly. Attack that thing. Uh, Fina slash that guy. Ice attack that guy. And finish off some of these guys. So, um, we can't go into the grading until we disable security or something. Oh, it was dark. Um, let's go ahead and charge. Just because that way the ice attacks will actually do something. And maybe this should be enough. Not quite. All right, so um, let's 
retreat back here, and I want to hit these. Oh, I'm getting sick of these. I want to hit the save point, um, because I just want to see if that should hopefully give us more health. Uh, it should replenish all the stuff, and we definitely need to heal. So let's take out one at a time if we can. Uh, heal Kuro. Because he is close to dying. Ice attack something. Attack something. Yeah, unfortunately Kuro is the best attacker we have, and pretty much the only attacker we have. Let's take care of that guy. Um... Go ahead and boost Kuro, so he attacks more often, and I think we need to cure Velvet. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. So let's do that, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, we just need to charge and continue attacking things. Attack that, uh, Fina, and Velvet will attack the other one, see if that will kill it faster. I don't actually know, um, but it seemed to have worked. So uh, we should be able to go back to the save point now, hopefully, and it's not really letting me save, so probably not working. Um, so that's for WoW. There's a console here. Some creature obviously attempted to use this computer with its claws. I uh, have to come back with my dissection kit. Uh, I'd love to know what makes those lovely creatures tick. Uh, okay, so we need... Hey, another lever. And some health. Two out of five. Alrighty then, so... Another fight. Gotta stop stepping on things. Um, the, this one is a good one for Velvet. She should be able to hit all three of them. Um, and charge. And honestly, I think uh, Fina will be able to as well. So let's just attack multiple of them. We'll have Fina charge again. And... Ice attack. Awesome. And one more hit should do it, and that's gonna be Fina. So Super Slash on that guy. Well, killed one of them. There's that one. And that one. Cool. So we need to explore around a little bit better than we have. Um, so many random fights. Don't step on those. I think that was my problem. Um, don't step on the gratings. So is there anything else up here? Yes, there is more stuff up here to look at. Um, more gratings, more... Oh, great. Lots of things. Alright, well, this is going to be fun. Let's just work our way left to right. Both of the girls should charge. And I think Velvet can hit the uh, turrets a little bit easier. So... Um, We'll have Kuro attack each one of those. And then go from there. Uh, Fina should probably heal. And then we'll worry about attacking. Uh, so ice those. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got dark. Dang it. The lights are really annoying. Apologies for that. I, like, unfortunately... Oh, the Unfrozen. Uh, unfortunately, there's not really anything I can do um, about, well, most of this stuff, so I think Fina should, or not Fina, but I think uh, Velvet should go ahead and boost up Kuro. And that'll make things go a little bit faster. And... Just slash him. Cool. That worked. 
Um, armor booster. Frost uh, armor, whatever. There we go. And hopefully we'll be able to kill these guys pretty quickly. Let's see, heal hero. Attack you. And charge up some ice. Attack more. And we gotta wait. Alright, so hopefully this will be enough damage to finish this. Cool. Um, so we're getting plenty of experience, but these fights take forever. Uh, let's hit the switch. There's three out of five. Now, that one we can't get to unless we have to deactivate some grading first. So let's head down this way. There's probably going to be another fight on here. No, but it looks like the generator, maybe? Chamber is empty. Hey, there's something inside. Ooh, what do we get? A collectible star. Oh, cool. Chamber is empty. Chamber is empty. So there is another one of those. A red ribbon. Totally my style, but it's got dust all over. Hmm. That's... Interesting. All right, so December second, nineteen forty-eight. Predecessor made great headway. He must have lived here for a long time. In preparation for Subject X's arrival, I've begun to implement an automated security system. And recording. Yeah, I kind of knew that. Uh, alternate experiment hibernation chamber, last resort. Okay, so um, there's one more switch that we can hit and it's right up this way uh, I think we've encountered most of everything so let's just hit the switch backup generator activated and lights back on alert level is now at zero security measures deactivating finally cool um, so no more random combat that's a problem when dealing with the past you never know how much these systems have aged door opens, and we can go get more treasure. Um, that's been empty for a long time. Uh, I wonder if there's a cloning thing or something. I'm wondering, because some of the things don't make sense that uh, Professor Yero, Yero, whatever you want to say his name, uh, a lot of the things he's saying just doesn't make quite that much sense. And we have Reno. Cool, a new card. So uh, that was the demon kid, I do believe. Minos' son. Uh, I believe. I could be wrong on that. Let's see, there's something else to look at. Creative Guardians to extract magic energy. Oh. So, Guardians were created. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, next time, we're going to go through the door and see where it takes us. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!